Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 27 of 2023, we had 65 tournaments with a total of 1,274 players and 4,571 games played. This week, the Imperial Knights topped the charts with 11 wins and 27 top 3 placings. They have a weighted placing of 10, which is the 5th best overall, and particularly impressive considering they had over 100 players. Not all of the tournaments are using the new points values, so they could drop down when the new points are adopted across all tournaments. The Eldaria are in second with 9 wins, 29 top 3 places, and a much higher weighted place group of 13.2. They are still doing very well, but have fallen back significantly compared to their 18 wins and a weighted placing of 3.7 last week. Having said that, we have an upcoming tournament spotlight of a 86 player tournament which was playing with the new points, and was of course, won by the Eldari. The Gene Steeler Colts get 7 wins and a weighted placing of 6.4, the best in the blue group and the third best overall, with the two factions with the better weighted placing Having far less players, in my opinion, they really performed the best this week. Chaos Demons also get 7 wins, with a weighted placing of 8.7, the 4th best overall. With the points nerf not fully taking effect yet, it'll be interesting to see if they win more tournaments next week. Custodies and Necrons both get 5 wins, being ranked by the number of top 3 placings. Chaos Space Marines get 4 wins, with these 3 factions having respectable weighted placings between 16 and 19. The Harlequins get the best weighted placing of 3, with the Yanari getting the second best weighted placing of 3.5. It is important to note that both these factions did not have a lot of players. 24 factions managed at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 84. The Eldaria in second on 71, with Imperial Knights in third on 66 top 10 placings. The Eldaria and Imperial Knights are still performing very well, although, as we stated, not all tournaments are using the new points. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 15.31% of players taking them. Aldaria, the second most popular faction, on 9.34%, followed by Imperial Knights in third on 8.63%. Both factions' popularity has increased slightly, even with the nerfs announced. Perhaps players are taking the opportunity to go to one last tournament with the old point values. It takes our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy, Phyllis Fox, many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week, the three Harlequin players topped the chart, with a very impressive win rate of 90%, the highest we've seen since we started our stat show. Of course, there were only three players, but they did perform very well. The seven Yunari players come second with a win rate of 73.1%. You can see why these factions were first and second for weighted placings. As these factions had less than 10 players, the second most popular faction Aldari are the real winners, with a win rate of 63.2%. With not all tournaments running the new points, we will have to wait till next week to truly know how hard the nerfs have hit them. We do know that a fair few tournaments were using the new points, however, so I suspect my fears will be true, and they will still be the strongest faction despite the changes. After all, both the factions above them are using the Aldari index. The Gene Sealer Cults are just behind with a win rate of 62.8%, with an impressive weighted placing of 6.4% the best of the factions with more than 10 players. It is looking rather good for the followers of the Four-Armed Emperor at the moment. The third most popular faction, Imperial Knights, dropped back a bit with a win rate of 58.2%. They are still performing very well, and with the towering keyword remaining unchanged, I personally think they will always be a difficult opponent to face. Unless you have true line-of-sight blocking terrain and plenty of anti-tank weapons, they are most likely going to destroy you before you can destroy them. The Custodies get a win rate of 54.2%, followed by the Tyranids with a win rate of 53.5%. Chaos Demons get a win rate of 50.7%, although they did get 7 tournament wins. The Necrons are the last faction in green, with a win rate of 50.2%. They see another increase in their win rate, perhaps players have now worked out the best Necron lists. The most popular faction, the Space Marines, get a win rate of 43.7%. Fortunately for them, they will be getting their new co codex in the not too distant future. There are 8 factions in red, with 7 of them also being in red last week. I do feel for the guard players, who have had a big nerf to their indirect fire weapons, even with them suffering since the start of 10. The second most popular faction, Eldari, topped the Leviathan to date win rates with an impressive 64.6%. The Harlequins have moved into second with 63.6%, although they only have 10 players. The third most popular faction, Imperial Knights, come next, with a win rate of 62.1%, followed by the 13 Yunari players, on a win rate of 61.1%. The 
The jeans dealer Colts have now moved into the blue group. They are clearly the best of the rest, as they are essentially in third place, due to the two Aldari sub factions ahead of them having a very small player base. The Custodes top the green group, with a win rate of 55%. They are consistently performing at this level. Perhaps they are a little overlooked, as the factions ahead of them are so overtuned. Chaos Demons get a win rate of 52.2%, followed by Orcs, who get a win rate of 51%. The Tyranids are the last faction in green, with a win rate of 50.6%. These factions are performing quite well, especially considering the majority of factions are in yellow or red, with 15 represented in total. The Chaos Knights drop down a little bit, after being hit by relatively similar nerfs to their Imperial counterparts. It'll be interesting to see if they drop even further down the table in the coming weeks. The most popular faction, Space Marines, get a win rate of 44.9%. They are the first of 12 factions who fall under 45%, which is a level that usually qualifies a faction for a buff from GW. With only three end indexes over 55%, I really do think GW should have done a full balanced data slate, rather than only nerfing two of the three indexes that are too strong by their metric. Unfortunately, most of these factions will have to wait until autumn for some changes, apart from the lucky few which are getting an early codex. The Raven Guard topped the win rates this week with 57.9%. The Salamanders and Flesh Terrors both have two players, and get a win rate of 55.6% and 50% respectively. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels just miss out on green, with a win rate of 49.6%. It'll be interesting to see if their win rate increases, with the Lion finally getting his individual release this Saturday. The nine Death Watch players get a win rate of 48.5%, followed by the third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, who get a win rate of 47.8%. The three Imperial Fist players get a win rate of 44.4%, with their Iron Hands on 44%, which is a big drop from their win rate of 60.9% last week. My Blood Angels see a marginal improvement, with a win rate of 42%, followed by the Space Wolves on 41.5%. The second most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, only get a win rate of 28.8%. I must say I am quite surprised by this result. I was expecting Phyllis's favourite Blue Boys to do much better in 10th. The Raven Guard topped the Leviathan to date win rates with 60%. I must say, it is nice to see them performing well in 10th, considering they were always near the bottom in 9th. The Salamanders are in 2nd with a win rate of 58.7%, followed by the Iron Hands, who have dropped down to 3rd after a rough week. They now have a win rate of 57.4%. The Death Watch topped the Yellow Group with a win rate of 48.8%, followed by the second most popular chapter of the Dark Angels, on a win rate of 47.4%. The Space Wolves come next, with a win rate of 43.4%. Fearless's favourite Blue Boys in the most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, just remain in yellow, with a win rate of 40.1%. A significant drop after their poor week. My Blood Angels are nearly out of the red group, with a win rate of 39.9%, with the third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, on 39.5%, a significant increase to their win rate. This week, the majority of the Chaos Space Marine warbands are unknown, so we will go straight into Leviathan so far. The three Iron Warriors players top the win rate, getting a win rate of 60%. The Black Legion have a great week, which has given them a win rate of 55.6%, with far more players than the Iron Warriors. The Emperor's Children, Red Corsairs and Fallen all have a win rate of 50%. The five Alpha Legion players are the only Legion in yellow, with a win rate of 40.9%. The three Word Bearers win a third of their games, with the nine Night Lords players getting a win rate of 29.6%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.